Hello everybody, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Um, I noticed they'd added a pirate mode to this, which I believe is a an incredibly difficult mode, um, mainly because I've played it a couple of times and my god it's impossible. Um, but basically what, what this is, is it's... If you were, I don't know whether I don't know whether anybody knows, but when they first released this game, they they released a special sort of like pirated version. So they released their own pirated version of the game where you could get it for free, kind of thing. And um, what happened was the the pirated version was absolutely goddamn impossible to beat, like literally impossible, as far as I remember. Um, you you progressed in the game normally for a set like a set amount of time, and then like everybody just pirated every single game that you made. So, and then obviously you just went bankrupt from there on. But what they did was they added they added it into the actual main game, and they kind of added ways to beat it. So I really want to beat it. Um, I'm, I, I haven't been successful so far, but we'll have a go this time. We'll have a, we'll have a go and see how far I get. It will not be very far. Um, so yes, the company name is Poopy Poopy Booty. And yeah, we, pirate mode is on, yeah, okay. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna import all of my, uh, I'm gonna import all of my hints. Um, there's, oh, that was why I was killing myself, wasn't it? Pirate sex. Oh, and booty booty pooey. <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm inventive. I am clearly I am clearly inventive, right. Okay, so we'll develop a new game. Um now the, the topics the topics that you get at the start are entirely random as far as I know. So we've got ninja fashion, hunting and mad science. Jesus Christ. Um I know ninja action games work pretty well. I mean, what the... a hunting simulator, I guess? Fashion simulator, I guess? I mean, what the... F <laughs> okay, right, ninja game. Ninja game, um... So what do we go for here? Let's go for... let's go for ninja action, because I know about that one. Right, PC. I don't think I ever... I don't think I, I, I ever actually developed anything for the Commodore 64. So, um... What do we call... What do we call our ninja action game? Um, Naction. There you go. <laughs> oh god, I'm inventive. I am so goddamn inventive. Right. Now, the first thing to mention, of course, is that my I can't actually fit my keyboard on actual my desk. You know, I can't fit the keyboard on my desk. I can't fit it with my computer and my monitor and my mouse and the microphone. I can't have them all on my desk. So when I type something out, it might be a little slow. Uh, <laughs> so I apologize for that one, right. Now, can we make, first question here is, can we make a text-based action game? Um, should I go back? Should I go back and see, ooh, that's only an okay combo, okay. So yeah, we'll make a text-based action game. That is actually all. That, that is actually all correct now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Text-based action game. I don't know whether this will be any good, but we'll have a go. Um, so engine is apparently very important. So yeah, the pluses, the pluses here, me with the the pluses usually mean that action games are you know require a lot of engine, but. The question mark, I think, means that I don't fully know that. Like, I, don't, I think I don't fully know whether ninja action games need engine as much as they do. Or as much as other en action games do. I think that's what that means. Because there's, a two, there's, there's two pluses here, meaning that I know full well gameplay is second, second most important. Story and quest is apparently not really important at all. But, okay. So... Generally, we've got, what, half of the bar here. I don't think I need half of the bar on engine. Um, I think I should have... 
Maybe about, maybe about that? Maybe about that, does that look okay? I can never really tell how much half of the bar is here. But yeah, so generally, generally you want to sort of like when you're doing this, as far as I know, you want to ignore these. You want to ignore this lot. I don't actually have my mouse on fucking screen. Hang on. Two seconds, two seconds. <laughs> that might have looked a bit weird to start with. Um, where is it? Window capture. Right. Uh, capture cursor. Yes, please. Right. Is that going to be better? Is that... Yay! There's the mouse. That might have looked a little strange to start with. I'm not going to re-record it. We're going to continue. <laughs> um, but yes, for the seven, for the first seven minutes of this, might have thought where the hell the mouse was. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, generally you want to ignore these. You want to ignore this lot. This is just the sliders, right? This, I believe, is where is where everything like with game development comes from you want these to be like in actual in actual percentages and stuff like that i think i think if you have one of them over 40 percent or something it gives you something and then there's like there's like whole algorithms to this game that is just weird um so artificial intelligence now again we don't know we don't know fully that level design isn't as important and we don't know fully that dialogues isn't important either. But to make a safe guess, um, we'll have dialogues as actually the least important. And we will have level design as... Uh, we want our official intelligence to be about half. Is that about half of the bar? I think it's slightly more than half, so we'll push level design up a little bit. Um, we'll actually push dialogues up a little bit and push level design down a little bit. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So, um, but yeah, generally my my strategy for my strategy for this has has for a while has for a while been um, been sort of like try my hardest to kind of get to a, get get to get to the copy protection bit, and I'll explain the copy protection later. Um, right, sound. Sound is second most important, but well design isn't isn't unimportant. It's just not as important as the others. So, uh, graphics is definitely important, even though it's text based. Um, so yeah, graphics might be gra gra uh, this might not go too well. Might not go too well already. But yeah, let's let's leave it at that. So yeah, copy protection is basically, um, because it's pirate mode, everybody just pirates your game, right? Like, I think you have about, I think you have about 86% piracy to start with. Um, so in general, just literally everyone pirates your games. Um, and you have to continuously, like, release games simply to actually get anything going. Um, you know, to keep yourself afloat. And then once once the once the copy protection comes on, uh, then only about twenty six percent of your your um, your customers pirate games. So it, it kind of it helps a lot. Um, I need I need the custom game engine though. I need the custom game engine. So we're gonna save up we're gonna save up research points. Um, right, we'll go fashion. Fashion simulator. Fashion RPG. Ooh. Um, fashion adventure, fashion action. No, none of these actually work. So right, okay, fashion simulator. Well, let's go. So as far as I know, as well, you are not supposed to. You're not supposed to um, repeat genres or topics. You have to. You have to sort of continuously make lots and lots of different games. Um, so you can't basically just make fashion RPGs over and over again and hope it works. Everybody gets bored of that and nobody likes it. So we're gonna we're gonna be trying to make as many different goddamn games as possible. Um so what would oh jeez. What would be a good fashion simulator? Um Hmm Barbie goes to town. Barbie goes to the zoo, there you go. Barbie goes I'm having to do this one handed. <laughs> like honestly, this is There you go. Barbie goes to the zoo, right. 
Uh, because because we started off with a text-based game, I still don't know how good that text-based game was, but because we started off with that text-based game, we're going 2D graphics this time. We're going to wow them with the 2D graphics. So the first, the first reviews for our newly released game, Naction, came in. Now I'm expecting about fives. Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, a five... It, it got it got what I expected. It got what I expected. I mean that's that's better than what I expected. Um, I'm seeing the sevens. No, okay. Okay, right. Fives, fives and sixes. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Um, did you seriously just instead of actually putting anything in design and technology, did you seriously just put two bugs in the first ten seconds of making this game? It's like, oh, I wrote a thing. Oh, and there's two bugs. Um, yeah, okay. So, so Poopy Booty Booty, a new Poopy Booty Booty Booty. Yeah, this is game received favorable reviews. No, it did not. Um, that's not, I mean, I mean, I suppose six is right. It's not really favorable, though, is it? Um, right, so story and quests aren't really that important. But engine might be important. Uh... How much of this bar do I go? Um, let's go there. Some of this will just be like massive guesses. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see, we've sold 495 units and made three and a half grand. It cost about 25 grand to make that game. So, uh, yeah, it's not. Hey, Naction was so successful, we now have two fans. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, right. So apparently, apparently the action games are pretty similar to the simulation games, really. Uh, dialogues aren't very important. Level design is important. I mean, we we completely balls up the action game. So I mean, do we want to do we want to try and sort of like fiddle with the uh, fiddle with the bars a little bit? Let's try that. I think I might have just moved it down and then moved it to, back up to exactly the same place that it was before. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, let's up the sound a little bit. Let's up the sound a little bit. Um, actually, that's down. Let's yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Yeah. This 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 game. I mean, it's it's actually it's actually better than it was before. It's better than the first one. You know, that's all you really want, isn't it? It's it's better than the it's better than action at least. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna try and beat. We're gonna try and beat our sixes. Our uh, fives and sixes, right. So what we're doing, what we're doing is we can generate a game report for an action, right. And then we can, we can see how Barbie goes to the zoo does. Oh, I see terrible reviews. Oh, geez, fives. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm worrying too much. Uh, fives, all right. And, I mean, I saw a couple of tens there. I think he might be drunk all games. Um, but yeah, okay, right. So, Barbie Goes to the Zoo didn't do very well either. Ah, uh, God. I mean, it, it sold a lot more. Barbie Goes to the Zoo sold quite a bit more than Naction did. Like, honestly, that was that was quite a lot. Um, engine seems to be very important. Yeah, so here you go. 81% of players pirated Naction, right? So this is this is what happens, right? You you basically just release game after game to start with, and all of your customers pirate it. So you can't make any money. You just have to basically stay afloat for the first like year. Um, so yeah, quickly quickly generate another game report for Barbie Goes to the Zoo. We can get some more research going. Oh hey, a three. Oh hey, another three. Oh. Um, right, we've almost actually got enough to research, uh, research custom game thing. Fashion simulation, yeah, fashion and simulation is a great combination. Story quests seem to not be very important. Okay. Uh, 78% of players pirated Barbie, Barbie goes to the zoo. Okay. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are completely running out of money here. Like, 15 grand already. We start off with 70. Um... So yeah, right. Pick another topic. Pick another topic. Uh, we can go hunting. Um, I mean, hunting adventure. Hunting action, I guess, would be the right one. But 
Hunting Simulation is a, is a good one. Uh, let's try Mad Science. What, what Can we... Mad Science Action, Mad Science Adventure. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. So we got we got another uh, we got another one going. Um, adventure games aren't. Oh, adventure games are very popular on PC. I apologize. I uh, apparently didn't know that one. Um, but yeah, you, you you might have noticed that a couple of this will be sort of like a little bit. I'm a little bit ahead of the curve simply because. I'm kind of using all of my knowledge from my previous playthroughs. That's what the hints were to start with. You know, you unlock um, like with with the when you generate game reports, you get knowledge about the stuff. So when it said like, you know, engine seems to be important for this, story quests don't seem to be important. You can carry that all the way through over to every single playthrough you have. And so I know what these things are simply because. You know, I did it previously in another in another version or in another save. Um, the thing was, I thought because it's so complicated and hard, I didn't think it was going to matter too much. Um, so hopefully, it doesn't matter too much that I'm getting the hints from other games or other saves. So right, Mad Science Adventure, um, Mad Venture. No, let's not do that again. Um, Sightcha. <laughs> Sightcha. Sight, sight, sightcha. Sight, sightcha atcha. Wait, no. Sightcha atcha. There you go. Sightcha atcha. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need a, we need proper punctuation. There you go. Sightcha atcha. Um, right. Okay, so 2D graphics version one. Yes. Let's go again. Um. I did actually level up. I did actually level up, so I might have. Uh, oh, recent market study suggests that the Govador G64. Oh, that's not the Commodore 64 at all. Um, steadily out outselling processors in the uh, com competitors in the PC sector. So yeah, this is basically just they've got. If you put your game on there, you might sell more games. Y you probably won't because everybody's just going to pirate the freaking thing anyway. Um, so yeah, right. Apparently, oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, right, story quest is apparently really important. Engine is apparently not very important at all, and gameplay is apparently also less important. Um, now, I mean, we've got two here that are slight, possibly slightly less important. Um, so usually, usually with less important ones, I would just put them down here and then sort of like, yeah. But I mean, I feel like. Focusing 85% of the game on story quests is not a very good idea. Um, so I feel like because it's not quite important, I'm going to try and sort of focus both of these like kind of vaguely equally. Um, I'm going to try it about there, see what happens. Because, I mean, this is this is fully important. So we got we got like 50% of the... Hang on. Hang on, let's let's bring those down a bit so we can actually have a bit more on story quests. So we've got we've got about fifty percent on story quests, right? And gameplay, we got a bit on gameplay and then a bit on engine. So yeah, let's let's just do that. I d I don't honestly know. Sometimes sometimes it's very confusing uh, to tell actually what you need to do in these. Um, right, dialogues are apparently very important. Level design is apparently not that important. So we'll we'll, we'll try and go. Artificial intelligence is definitely not important. So yeah, again, this is this is I know full well, like without the question mark, I know full well what I need to do here. But the question mark is maybe, you know, like I've obviously done adventure games before, but maybe I've never done. I don't know much about mad science adventure games. So yeah, right. Yeah, we'll go with that again. We'll go with that again. My bank account is in the red. Sweet as. Sweet as, didn't take long, did it? Eight months. Eight months of game design with everybody pirating your games and you're in the red. Um, right, so world design is apparently very important. Sound is apparently not that important for an adventure game. I'm not really quite sure why. I mean, sound I would have thought was pretty important for most adventure games. So what we will do... Uh, what we'll do is... Well, actually, no. We'll try that. We'll, we'll, try, we'll try this again. We'll, we'll actually push that up a bit. We'll try that again. 
Oh, I don't know what the actual arrow there. Oh, it's the bottom of my... I thought this was an arrow for a second, poking out underneath the, um... Underneath the thing. Yeah, right. Oh, God, there's eight bugs in it. Also, it's... Oh, no, the design is actually quite a bit better than it was before, so that's always good. Uh, any more bugs? No, okay. Oh, damn it, Ninvento. Nobody cares about Dinky King. Um... Right, so yeah, that's just that's just saying about like Ninvento might be might be making a oh shit, no, not game history, there you go. Finish the actual game quickly. We're in we're in the red. Um Yeah, right, new topic, new combo. Okay. So I almost I've almost leveled up again apparently. So what we do Uh yes, I need I need to sell I need to sell a good portion of the company. Um, so yeah, this is another thing that you can apparently only do in the, uh, in the, um, pirate mode. If, if you, if you sort of get too little money, people will come buy shares of your company and, uh, you know, do all this crap. But if you get a lot of money together, you can actually, you can actually buy back parts of your company. So... 30% for 150k is not actually that good, so I'll go 20%. Um, but, what I want to do is I want to research custom game engines. Yes, please. So, so yes, the reviews for Saitya Acha. Oh, no. Alright, that went down horribly. Okay. I got excited when I saw 8. Well, I mean, that lingered on 10 a bit. Ooh, -hoo. we're getting a little better. We're getting a little better. Um, but yeah, apparently, as far as I know, the first couple of games that you make, it's sort of it, it it's like the scores and what you need to do are based on something that the game gives you. So, like to get your first ten, the game sets in like an arbitrary number of design and technology and all this kind of stuff. And oh, hey, contract work. Um, so yeah, that's that's always important. Contract work is pretty good. Um, keeps you afloat just about. Right, okay, so yeah, we can research... Uh, we can't quite research copy protection version 1 yet. But um, what I want to do is I want to generate a game report of Saitra Acha. And uh, I feel like I was partway through talking about something and I completely just... Completely just forgot what I was talking about. Um, right. I, I will remember eventually, I apologize. Um, so yeah, Nint Ninvento. Ninvento have confirmed recent rumors that there are going to be announced the console called the TES. Okay, so yeah, that's just basically telling me the, the NES is, uh, or the NES is coming. Um, right, dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. Okay. 74% of players. So I mean, the piracy is going down without without actually me, you know, without me actually doing anything. Um, but right, what do I want? I want to actually, I want to actually research copy protection version one. Um, now we're not actually doing very well in this one. Sometimes, usually I would actually be doing a little better than this. Um, right, Saichi Acha is apparently now off the market. Uh, hey, it sold 4,000. 4,000 units, that's not bad. Um, right, so yeah, what we will do is we will make another game... Um, should I make another game, or should I do contract work? How much is this game engine going to cost me? Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, 2D, oh yeah, it costs, it costs the bare minimum 80 grand. Um, yeah, 120 grand for that. Okay, right, what we'll do is we'll do a bit of contract work. Um, we'll do a bit of contract work, we'll debug some programs first. Yeah, we'll debug some programs. Because this should be this should be easy enough, right? It's it's generally just keeping us keeping us flowing, keeping us going. Um, so yeah, as I say, keeping us afloat. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything to do, and it's it's relatively simple to do like one every now and then. So if if we could actually click develop new game, that would be better. Um, I feel like I need new topics as well. So. Uh, what we what do we do? What do we do? We've got we've got a we've we've gone adventure. We've gone adventure, right? So if I go if I create another ninja action game, will that be will that screw me over? It shouldn't. Let's try it. 
Right, let's try and let's try and think of something more inventive this time. Um, something more like ninja ventive. <laughs> um, God, these are these are just just, just um, but how do you fucking nin ninja ninja ventive? Um, there you go. No, that's not even all right. Fuck it, whatever. Ninja ventive now apparently. It's a new flavor of Vimto. It's uh, ninja flavored. Um, right, so 2D graphics version one. Right. So yeah, this this game is going to cost me about 25 grand to make. Uh, so right, engine up. Story quest is down. Um, yeah, story quest is definitely not very important, but gameplay apparently is. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll sort of uh, we'll hover around the. F We'll hover around the 50% mark. Let's, let's, let's actually commit for 10 seconds um, before I change anything. Right. Okay, so yeah, technology's going up. I mean, 4 and 4 is pretty good for the start, right? Um, that's definitely not... Dialogues are definitely not important. Um, well, actually, dialogues might not be important. Uh, level design might be important. Let's go about there. Let's go about there. Again, a lot of this game, a lot of this game for me is kind of just guessing. It's kind of ooh, the NES has been released. Okay, so yeah, the the NES came out. I don't usually actually buy a buy an NES um, license. You know, it's it's not it's not actually something that I ever usually do. Um. Let's try about there. Let's try. Let's try that. Let's try that. But yeah, I don't usually. I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the second, the second license I've usually been buying. Right. Okay. Here we go. So, if I sell, if I sell thirty percent, um, if I sell thirty percent, actually, I could sell twenty percent. And actually, no, I think I need. I think I need thirty percent. Let's sell thirty percent, just so, just so I can actually get the. Um, just so I can actually create my custom game engine. Because <coughs> once I create the custom game engine, I can get a lot more sales going. Um, hey, we leveled up. Right. Okay, and also, a bunch more stuff to research. Uh, I can't research either of them, so fuck it. Let's go, uh, let's create the custom engine without it. Right, let's quickly, let's quickly burst all of this shit into the custom engine. Um... So yeah, I should really wait. I should really wait till after I get. But we're gonna we're gonna be hemorrhaging money until we. Yeah, no, I need to. I need to create this now. Um, need to create this now. Engine. There you go. It's the. Oh damn. All right, none of that actually typed in, and I wasn't looking at my uh, I wasn't looking at my uh, monitor there. So yeah, need to create this engine. Right, how did Ninja Ventiv do? Okay, about as shit as all the other ones. Oh god, we're still getting sixes. Um, I really thought I'd be on like sevens by now. Like like solid sevens is what we want. Solid sevens is what we want. Um. But yeah, uh, that's not that's not good. That's not good. But yeah, I feel like I feel like one of the things that I should mention for this uh, for this series is um, we might be I might be resetting a fair old amount. Like I might be restarting quite a bit. And um, in general, if I do restart, I will get back up to the point where I had to restart, and then we will. Uh, I will sort of like cobble bits together. Um, so right, let's 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 do a let's do a game report for Ninja Ventive, and then we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, what did what did I do wrong with Ninja Ventive? Probably everything, but I mean you know, it's uh, level design seems to be quite important. Did I put any? Okay, I don't know whether I put. Okay, eighty six percent of players pirated Ninja Ventive. All right. Um, so yeah, develop new game. Develop new game. This is probably the wrong way to do this, but whatever. Right, hunting. Let's go hunting, and let's go, uh, let's go sim. We'll go hunting, sim, and we'll go PC. And we will pick the, need to create this engine. 
Um, right, what's a good hunting game? Um, uh, Shitbag Simulator, there you go. Um, can I put Shitbag? Shitbag Sim, there you go. Yeah, you, you simulate shitbags and you just shit on everything. Um, so yeah, 2D graphics and copy protection, yes. Right, so this is already costing us 45 grand. So I mean, this this might not this might not work out too well because we're now in the red. Um, we are going to need a bailout very quickly. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, shitbag sim might actually work out too. Uh, might actually work out all right. So uh, if we if we lower engine and then we up story quest a little bit, right? Do we need a do we need a linear story? Um, we don't really, because story quest isn't important, but save game is. So let's go save game. Um, fuck it. <laughs> All right. I should probably pay more attention to what, where actually everything is. But I mean, I don't know whether, I don't know what percentages you actually need to put things in anyway. You know, I don't know what percentage you need to have everything at. I'm just kind of guessing with 40, 50% kind of thing. Um, that, I mean, that looks fine. Up dialogues a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Because um, hopefully, what should happen is my design and technology should go up. Stop scratching your head, man. Come on. Yeah, my design and technology should be quite a bit higher in this one than previous games. And uh, it should. I'm going to actually lower world design a little bit. Um, yeah, what should happen is we should actually be able to have. Uh, we should be able to get a pretty decent game going out of this one. Um, I'm unsure, I'm unsure entirely whether that's true or not. Uh, any more for any more? Nope, alright. Okay, so, yeah, sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Okay, so everybody loves the TES, do they? Um, right, let's get a new topic. Let's go, let's go, uh... I mean, extreme sports action, I guess. Um... Extreme Sports Sim. These are all sim and action games, though. Construction Simulator, Transport Simulator, Prison Simulator. I guess Prison Strategy might work out too well. Let's go Prison. Well, let's not go to Prison. Um, right, so this is selling... This is now selling 60% of my company. Ugh. Actually, no, it's selling... It's selling 70% of my company. Now, does this... Does this actually... Does this actually mean anything? Do you lose sales if you if you take this? I'm gonna I'm gonna take twenty I'm gonna take twenty percent of this. We'll we'll test it out. We'll test it out. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not entirely. Sh Why are we not finishing this game? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I don't quite. Yeah, that was that was weird. That should have. I should have sort of not done that like that. Um, right, so let's do... Let's do that. Screw it. I should be able to do this. Okay, right. Shitbag Sim. Oh, I'm seeing... I'm seeing good scores. I'm seeing good scores. Good one, Star Games. Ah, you bastards. You bastards, Inform Gamer. That deserved a nine. Everybody else is giving it nine. Oh god, oh, okay. Yeah, inform gamer, you're assholes. Um, yeah, okay, we should be able to get a bit of money from this. And Shitbag Sim should really fucking skyrocket through the roof um, with some money. So yeah, let's make... Uh, god, what do we do here? Research. I've got a bunch more... I've got a bunch more money now, so let's research some more stuff. Um, briefly research some more stuff. Hey, we sold 10k units. Um, so yeah, of course, because I had to, because I had to restart the, uh, I had to restart the recording for a second. I actually don't know how long we've been recording for, so I'll go for another five minutes and then hope that's about half an hour. If it's not, I apologize. Um, right, okay, Shitbag Sim was a surprise hit with players. I mean, yeah, that, that really tells you quite a lot about gamers, really, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I mean, that's, yeah... <laughs> 
Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just let's just breeze past that comment. That comment never happened. Um, right. We've successfully researched game tutorials. Okay. So develop new game. Um, what do we want? What do we want? Prison. Prison on the PC. Um, strategy. Ah shit. It's an okay combo. A simulation is a great combo again. Fuck's sake. Uh, right, what did we what did we make last time? What did we make last time? Can I make a fashion RPG? Can I do that? Um, I kind of want to. I kind of want to make something stupid. Fashion strategy. I mean, fashion simulator is pretty good. Fashion action. Fashion RPG wouldn't work at all. Fashion strategy might. Um. I mean, I could I could imagine a fashion strategy game working. Right, like, I don't 100% know whether a fashion strategy game would work. Mad science. Can we have mad science strategy? No. Mad science action. I've already done all this. Mad science adventure was the only one that I know worked. Um, ninja, right. Ninja strategy, no. RPG, no. Adventure. Adventure was an okay combo, wasn't it? Um, let's go. Let's go fashion action. And we will be really freaking st oh god's sake click the f there we go right um what the hell do you call a fashion action game faction red faction red faction there you go yeah all right faction <laughs> faction um right so yeah okay do this uh okay yeah so this is this is this is the targeted audience you get targeted audience straight away don't you oh no you actually have to research it all right i thought you actually i thought you actually got it did nothing happen with that did the did the opening period of that nothing happen was he scratching his head the heart i don't know i don't actually know right okay engine uh lower the gameplay a little bit up the story quest a little bit Let's up the story quests, right? So yeah, red faction. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for this to do pretty well. Shitbag Sim did very well. Um, see, so yeah, I'm hoping. I'm. Ho oh god, dialogues are terrible. Uh, yeah, shitbag Sim was a simulator, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, action. Action shouldn't. Action shouldn't be. Uh, you know, action shouldn't be a uh, too close together to with simulators. Nobody should be bored of that yet. But of course, the the actual um, the actual things here aren't doing very well. Uh, this is Vina. This is Sega. Yeah, the 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 freaking the actual game is terrible. Wow, six and ten. What the fuck? This is gonna be dreadful. Um, six and eleven. Okay. I mean, you might have pulled it out of the bag there with the eleven. Because, yeah, my god, that's awful. That is just... Oh, my god. What is this? This is going to be dreadful. Okay. Um, generate game report. Shitbag sim. Why did that do so well? Okay. I'm, I'm expecting, like, fours. I mean, five. Five. That's that's not... I mean, uh, informed gamer are absolutely goddamn drunk. Like, informed gamer are 100... They're just a bunch of drunkards. Like, who the fuck gives... I mean, it's okay, all games are kind of drunk as well. Our fashion and action is a terrible combination. Thank you, Game Hero. I didn't know that. Um, I shall remember that for next time. But yeah, okay, right. So I mean, it's it's selling, it's selling. We're getting some, we're getting some money from it. Um, right. So this is the Master System. This is the Sega Master System. I never owned a Sega Master System. My first games console was a Mega Drive. Um. So yeah, my dinner is ready, so I'm off. We'll pick this back up next episode. So yeah, see you next episode, everybody.